Well, everything but the last lamp. No, that's a lie. Hang on. <laughs> None of the lamps. One second. And there we go. <laughs> so, did y'all get your snacks on? I did not get hungry for a snack until two minutes before stream. So, therefore, I had a spoonful of almond butter and have now not brushed my teeth since then. Which is so highly distracting. I can't stand it when I haven't just freshly brushed my teeth. But I do have two lovely beverages, one of which has an ice cube, a really big ice cube. Ice cube sounds. And the other one is tea, which is not ready yet. <sighs> How are you doing? It's, it's, uh, it's Wednesday. Wednesday's time for a game. And I put myself in the just chatting category because recently I've like spent a little time talking before starting to game. But if I turn on my desktop audio in the mixer, you will hear that I have a, I have started up RimWorld. Um, so it's not that I haven't chosen a game category. 80 degrees, oh my. Um, so yeah, while the... Uh, while the intro music was playing, I got myself my tea and I stepped outside for a minute and just stood in the sun and charged up for a minute. But it's not 80 degrees outside today. I'm not sure what time temperature it is outside. I'd guess more like mid 70s. It, it felt nice. It felt, it felt perfect. It was, it was lovely. I wish I had gone out earlier. Last two days, I went outside as soon as I got up for a little while, just a little while, it kind of helped me feel a little bit more human. I like wandered around in the yard barefoot. We don't spray or anything. None of our neighbors spray that I know of, so I'm not afraid to do that. Um, it was lovely. I picked a few weeds and uh, put them in the compost heap. So <laughs> that was a good morning. Um, but I didn't do that today for some reason, and I wish I had, but at least I did get outside and just stand there in the sun and go, ah, for, um, about a minute <laughs> while the intro screen played. So that was nice. Oh, I could turn off streamer song list overlay because it's not actually a streamer song list day, but, um, just a little update. I have gotten myself on track with learning bread and roses and if everything continues to go hello water oh my gosh that's the cutest little <laughs> octopus <laughs> i love it um i've gotten myself on track with learning bread and roses um i get like this i i like i i find a song that i love i'm like oh i really want to learn that someday and then eventually someday rolls around and then I just listen to that song on repeat and listen to a whole bunch of versions of that song and you know like cobble together what's my version gonna be like and it takes me a little while and when a song is ah, charged with emotion gravitas I don't know when a tr when a song is a heavy song um, it can take me a long time to get to the point where I can sing it without crying. Um, and I, I feel aware that this is going to be one of those songs where maybe some days I make it through without crying and other days I don't. And I'm just accepting already that that's going to be okay. Um, the Twitch stream is not a performance for a, 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 a large audience of people who have paid a ticket and would be averse to walking away. It's an audience of people who all could walk away at a moment's notice and haven't necessarily spent um, large amounts of money on that particular evening or afternoon, as the case may be. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping that'll just be okay. And I'm deciding that I'm, I'm going to be okay with it. <laughs> 
um, it's a wonderful song, and um, it's the text of the song is taken from a poem that was written that was inspired by a photograph of um, some woolen mill workers in Massachusetts 110 years ago. Um, This was before women in the United States had the vote. Um, And at that time, the AFL-CIO was making zero attempts to include women in any of their um, union organizing because they believed that women were inherently not organizable. So it took the International Workers um, Organization to uh, start the women's labor movement in the United States, which also um, was including any uh, immigrant workers as well, because um, <clears throat> yeah, the uh, the American unions were doing work to organize white men, which needed to be done. This this was work which needed to be done, but it was not all of the work which needed to be done. So um, luckily, um, the IWW uh, got um, got into some. You know, we. We got, they got some meetings going, and um, eventually, after multiple meetings uh, for these mill workers in um, in Massachusetts, uh, not that long thereafter, payday came around, and the pay was short. And so, one of these women who received her pay and it was short said in a loud enough voice for everyone to hear short pay everybody out and um and they all walked out and that was the beginning of the bread and roses strike which was um really instrumental for the united states in getting um some workers' rights for women. Um, There were many, many women and children and and foreign workers in the woolen mills, and that that area produced a a very large amount of of the wool. Um, And so this uh, this photograph that, that became the inspiration for the poem that became the text to this song was a photograph of a um, of one of the si- uh, of the women with some of their signs, and one of the signs said, um, "Give us bread, but give us roses too." And the text of of the poem is about how it's not just our bodies that need to be fed, but our hearts as well, and the things that make up a good life are the rights of every human being to have um and that it's time to share the the good life and and not have one person having the good life for every 10 people that are that are working their tushes off so that that one person can have an exceptionally good life, but what if we all had enough of a good life? Um, so yes, it's a very beautiful song, and it's one that I've that I've um, you know it's it's come up to the top of the list. It's it's time has come for me in terms of like I've gotten focused. Um, that's how it goes for me. I get very focused on a song, and it takes that to get it all the way in to my head and heart, and for me to find my way to making the song my own. Um, so I'm looking forward to adding that to the song list. All things 
going along as they are if nothing changes i foresee that going on the song list by monday arbaro estas bon bean saluton so yes um i guess that's enough chit chat or newsy news and maybe now we play a game what do you say um, it is time for some more RimWorld adventures, and um, we are at the tribe of the Delta. Um, and some of these colonists have been adopted by people in chat, and some of them are adoptable. Molstug and Espinoza are adoptable characters. Um, and Mole is an amazing shot. He is our builder extraordinaire and also great at mining um, with a minor passion for crafting. Stug is um, actually <laughs> the person who organizes everything. Category change, indeed. Category change to RimWorld. Thank you for that, Constellatio. Um, Stug is the person who keeps everything organized. And when we have um, trading to do, Stug is the one who um, knows how to get the good deals. So that's excellent. Also a great shot. And Espinoza is a medic um, which is always very good to have she's our latest addition to the crew um yes water absolutely uh so also high social skills um a great fighter and medic um so um espinoza really wants to have the nicest room she doesn't care how nice it is so much as that it's nicer than anyone else's room um and i don't know if we really have that for her yet yeah she's jealous of irizanyo's bedroom okay well we might switch them because irizanyo might not really care actually all that much comparatively yeah irizanyo doesn't actually care if she has the nicest bedroom she cares how nice her bedroom is just like everybody does um uh, what other foibles do people have? Stug, uh, no negative personality traits whatsoever, a jogger. So everywhere they go, they get there faster, which is why they're the one organizing things. And Mole um, doesn't do research. That's fine. You don't need everybody to do research. And it may appear to you that this is a negative uh, trait. In real life, being a psychopath is not the most beneficial to you or anyone around you. However, in the context of RimWorld, things are tough out on the rim and bad things happen to good people sometimes. Um, and just like everybody else, in this game, a psychopath will have an adverse re adverse response to bad things happening to them. But if bad things happen to the people around them, a psychopath can hold it together and can continue to function even though bad things are happening to people around them. Whereas everybody else might have some struggles. If bad things start happening to people around you, you get a mood debuff that's pretty significant in this game. And that does not happen to psychopaths. So it's almost a plus. I mean, the negative is uh, socializing with other people doesn't help you feel better, but all of those other things that, that might go wrong don't make you feel bad. So, so there's that. Um, let's see here. I don't know for facts that Irizanyo's bedroom is the nicest one. Frankly, I don't see how, it, oh, I know what it is that she has an excellent dresser here. She has an extra piece of furniture, basically. And a nicer piece of furniture. Okay, so Espinosa does have two... No, that's a table. Okay, never mind. Um, 
like, yeah, Irizanyo has an extra piece of furniture, and that doesn't necessarily have to hold. This dresser could move to somewhere else. Um, but we shall see. Basically, we're going to do whatever it takes for everybody to be as happy as possible. Um, but yes, I don't know, uh, water, uh, or Arbarro, whether you would like to adopt one of these lovely folks. Um, you are, you are welcome to. We need to check out what's going on with the psychoid plants. We're, we're growing these for tea. It's a special tea that, um, helps people feel, uh, feel a bit better. Uh, significantly better when they're having a really bad day they go and drink some of this special tea but it's sick so we need to make sure that it gets cut who does that sort of thing I think it's Constellatio that does that yes Constellatio is the one that does that well when Constellatio gets up we can we can see um, if we can't get that sorted out Okay, so it is Anyo and I are the ones that are working on the cooking kind of tag team. Someone that's faster than others. Um, well, yeah, I don't know. Entitled. Yeah, I guess you could say that, but that's not her. That's like a kind of a minor, um, a minor thing. She has an awful lot of skills. Um, very skilled and you know she's never gonna die in a fire because she's just gonna stay away from fires entirely um, why is it ah so she doesn't do firefighting because she was born during a catastrophic war in which both sides used incendiary weapons she grew up helping her parents in an infirmary treating the cascade of horrific burns from the battlefields she was left with a lifelong fear of fire medical plus five firefighting disabled um what else is about the psychopath um doesn't do research builds things can do mining and is a great shot has an interest in crafting um some skills with cooking plants and animals if necessary no skills yet in artistic medical or social but everybody else has uh, deep skills in those areas so that's fine and for some reason he's sleeping out here why is that okay for some reason he doesn't have a bed whose bed is this salunis um whose bed is this mine Whose bed is... Ah, that's not anybody's bed right now. Okay. We need another bed? What, oh, these are... Ah, oh, we have prisoners right now. That's why we're having a problem. Okay. I forgot we had prisoners, you guys. So there's going to be even more people that you could potentially um, adopt. We have Mago, who is kind psychically dull and beautiful so everybody is gonna be the he likes everybody and everybody likes him um amazing with animals great with fighting and construction and plants um latros uh is irisanyo's daughter i believe Yes, it is Anya's daughter, and um, she is a super immune and tough pyromaniac. So we have two new people, relatively new people, who are not capable of firefighting. But we have enough colonists that it's not going to be it's not going to be terrible that two of them can't do firefighting. Um, amazing with animals, a uh, good melee fighter great social skills and good intellectual skills with a uh, minor passion and all of those um as a baby letros was the only survivor of a deadly spacecraft crash a passing tribe discovered her in the wreckage and adopted her so it is Anyo is her adoptive mother but mother nonetheless um fascinating it's always cool when we get a chance um to bring into the colony people 
uh, who have a relationship already. Um, that's one of my favorite things. So yeah, that's the story. How, how are those folks doing in terms of, it'll be a little while for Mago and Latros, not very long at all. So those, those are our options. Peach Oolong sounds amazing. But I'm going to stick with my um, orange drink. Mm. It is tasty. Okay. So, um... Yeah, I'm trying really hard not to make coffee. Um, I'm going to temporarily... I'm going to make this mole's bedroom. I'm going to make this Espinosa's bedroom. Um, I'm going to make this Constellatio and Solune's bedroom. Muffalo 6 has given birth. Baby Muffalo calf number three, age zero hours, is consuming a rice plant. Um, I mean, this is what I get, I guess, for having the rice growing in the animal's pen not really I mean it's the best place for the rice to be but it means that we lose some of it when when the animals eat some of it all right we have just recently come back from a trip and so we have some stuff to move into storage man we also really need to clean up around here um Irizanyo, could you before you cook do a little cleaning stug is slow for some reason ah yes i keep forgetting um dealing with a wake-up addiction wake up normally makes you faster but in at this moment stug is slower than usual stug is usually very fast mole that is mole Mole's childhood. Mole was born to a poor family on a rim world. His father sold him into slavery at a young age. He was traded many times. A tycoon bought him and sent him down into mines to look after machines and to work alongside them. Cannot research, cannot synthesize drugs. Plus two to construction, plus three to mining, minus two to social. As an adult, after escaping a crew of Rimworld slavers, Mole developed a lack of respect for life. He proceeded to sign on to a mercenary group where he developed skills using guns and survival techniques. Mole did dirty work where he found it and traveled to many worlds. Shooting plus five, construction plus three, mining plus two, artistic minus two. And that's the backstory. Um, of Mole, who is age 33, but actually chronological age 767 years, one quadrum in one day, um, due to crypto sleep. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's a thing. Let's check on this here. I want to make sure that people who need to improve their relationship well that's not none of that's too bad um i think all of that's fine Tros relationship how's that going spinoza stug mole constellatio spinoza stug mole constellatio that's fine Okay. Um, can we call the new baby Muffalo Cheeky? For no other reason than the name came to my head when you said the baby was born. Constellatio says, hmm, dirty deeds done dirt cheap, eh? Well, I mean, Mole might not sell himself too short. If he's got the requisite skill set, he may understand the value of his services. Um, can't really say for sure. I do not know what his price point was. I believe this is... Yes. Can we rename them? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, we can. We can rename them. That's Cheeky. You understand that Cheeky may be dinner at some point, right? Just checking. <laughs> this is a... Uh, this is life on the rim, guys. Okay, so Luna's still on about the cowboy hats, and frankly, I think it's time to give that up. Um, we no longer need a ridiculous amount of cowboy hats. You know? It's gonna be fine. Um, we have, um, we have attempted with the cowboy hats. We have failed. Um, we might have cheeky for dinner. It's fine. Okay. Delicious cheeky dinner. <laughs> um, mole is... Mole was maybe not, not one of the first ones. Um, I, I, cause I know that Irizanyo was not one of our original colonists, um, but had been a member of another tribe, um, and was recruited. So that means Mole also, I don't think Mole was recruited from being a prisoner but I don't remember exactly how Mole came to us. Um, but I don't think Mole was one of the original colonists. No. Um, early, yes. Original, no. <clears throat> um, I think the original were... Um, Coraco, you, Constellatio, me, and Solune. Those were our first five, and then everybody else has been added since then. All right, why is Maul still sleeping in the field? I mean, you could have gone sl to sleep in your bed. I did tell you you had one, but I guess you've had enough sleep. Is that, is that the story? Why are we making a cowboy hat? We don't really need to be making a cowboy hat. Stug is sleeping in the storeroom. Well, we're having an issue where we don't have enough beds. Um, Can people please find happy relationships? Because it's not that we don't have enough sleeping places. You know? Um, <laughs> it's just that we only have one pair in the entire place. Um, everybody else has not yet paired off. Looks like the cutting is going to have to be ordered very specifically if I want it to be finished. And this is the kind of detailed stuff. I just feel like there's got to be a better way than this. Um, a wooden stool. How about if we build another one of those and a table to go with it? Aha dogs, hello. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. So Luna, what are you up to now? Making a tribal wear. Well, why not? Why not? We could also clean up in the workroom a little bit because oh my gosh, it's a mess in here. 
So gross. And Espinoza. Oh, I was just about to ask you to do exactly what you're on your way to do. How happy does that make me? So I'm hoping that Espinoza can get to know Latrose a little bit better. And that's exactly what Espinoza is going to do. And after that, maybe cleaning up in that arm a little bit. Because the prisoners don't clean up after themselves. They just don't do that. As much as we wish they would, they won't. And that's okay. I mean, there's... There's a limited amount of expectations we should put on them, I think. Um, we can haul some of these things in so that they stay nice and fresh. All right, Constellatio's got that done. Those diseased plants have all been destroyed and we can start again and try and grow some more a few hops out here. Those are ready to harvest. Um, how is our beer making coming along? Nothing much going on at the moment. Um, that's okay. We've been a little busy with some other situations, you know, the, um, the issue involving <laughs> the cowboy hats. It was a little distracting for a little while, so we're a little behind on things like tidying up and making beer. All right, Espinoza has really made so much progress in getting on with, um, where's Espinoza? Here we go. Yeah, um, rapport built, plus 10. Excellent. Uh, what about Mago? I think Espinosa should also be talking with Mago, but Mago's sleeping at the moment, so we're just not going to bother them. That's such a cute kitty! I love it. My gosh, that animation is really good. Okay, Stug is feeding Latros. I mean, does that really? Yeah, we still need to do that. It'll be just a little bit before Latros will join us, but the next time anybody has a chance to have a heart to heart, that's that's gonna do the trick. And Latrose, Irizanyo's adopted daughter, will be a member of the colony. Um, I don't know whether that brings you any closer to your decision water. Why? A table and stool in the middle of nowhere. Sorry, I miss a lot when on the phone because I cannot really follow up on what's going on visual. I understand. Okay, so here's the story. We have a table ta it's it's a picnic it's a picnic bench here we've got a picnic bench i know it doesn't look quite like a picnic bench the way i have it set up but we've got a picnic bench there because we have these um these fields here so people go out to work in the fields and then they get hungry and they take a break and they eat but if there's not a table and chair within a certain distance they will just stand there and eat their meal rather than going to the closest table and chair. It has to be within a certain distance. What's that distance? I don't know, 36, something like that. Um, so then they'll go to the picnic table and eat there. Also, the other benefit is it attracts um, raiders to go and set a fire there, um, which sometimes splits them up so that they don't all attack in one group. And that can be useful as well. So we have a few picnic tables in places where people tend to work. Um, we also have a few picnic tables. This one down here, I think I put this here when there was something we were doing down here, but now there's nothing we're doing down here. So technically we should uninstall this picnic table because there's no reason for anybody to need it at this point whatsoever. This picnic table is sufficient because um, nobody's going to be over here deciding to eat. Um, yeah, that's, that's not a thing that's going to happen. 
Let's see, we'll mark these for deconstruction so that we can get some building components out of them. There's quite a few animals that we might like to tame here that we have not gotten around to taming, but that's because I've been busy with other things and I'm the one that's supposed to do that taming sort of work. And I just have not had time to get to it. Let's see. If I want to repair and then take the materials from these here, what I have to do is make that part of my home area. I know that's really strange, but that's the way that's done. Yep. I'm not quite sure how that works with tiles, but we'll see. Not even raiders. Not even raiders. I mean, I guess I just feel like we maybe will need them somewhere else. Yeah. It's better to make better use of them. It's, yeah, we could just sprinkle picnic tables randomly around the map. Um, we could do that. I'm going to open the curtain and see how we do with, nope. On RimWorld days, it just, it's not a fit. On RimWorld days, more light is not always better because it's just such a contrast to what we've got going on on screen, especially if it's evening or night in the game. So yeah, we will leave the curtain closed. Just having a look around the map, we've got some compacted steel lots of compacted steel we could be mining limestone is not particularly interesting sandstone is also not particularly interesting um i think we have mined everything that really is interesting um we we have an ancient danger here that maybe someday <laughs> we will get brave uh and explore but today is not that day uh it's been raining all day with a couple of flash flood warnings here already ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, ay. all right espinoza could you oh it's not time to do that okay never mind i should trust you all a little bit better um before you go to bed, could you maybe put away those berries where they go? Great. So Luna is back on the researching bandwagon now that we don't have, like, so Luna has had to be sitting at the tailoring bench 24-7. In fact, um, for a while I even restricted where he was allowed to go. Um, and... Now he's back off restrictions. He's not like restricted to this, uh, to just the bedrooms and the workrooms anymore. He can do whatever, wherever. And it's wonderful that he's back on the research. Um, at Irizanyo's suggestion, we are making a very concerted, very organized push with the research um, because we are a low technology, um, Neolithic faction. I heard a ding. New recruit, Latros. Yes! Constellatio asked Latros to join. Latros has accepted and joined Constellatio's community. Let's hear about it. I want to see. What did they talk about? Um, Constellatio told a childhood story about drunkenness to Latros and expressed interest in Latros's way of thinking. Asked Latros about her eyes and told Latros about health. <laughs> interesting strategies uh expressed interest in latrosa's voice and asked latros to join latros has accepted and joined constellatio's community at which point they both joked together about hostile historians way to go way to go constellatio um that's how it's done <laughs> we now have another member and look at this here's something i'm surprised about Latros is here 
on the left of Espinoza, which I think means Latrose must, I think this must mean, correct me if you know that I'm wrong here. Um, I think this must mean that Latrose came onto the map before Espinoza did. So Espinoza was a rescue, like a crash pod rescue. And Latrose was a, was a raider who we captured on purpose because she's Irizanyo's daughter and we didn't want her to be our enemy anymore. So we, we put her in a small room and talked her ear off until <laughs> she decided, fine, uh, <laughs> I will join them. So that's what happened there. But I think the fact that she is on mm, up, up there on that list, hang on. I'll use, I'll use my mouse. If she is in this list before Espinosa, I think that means she appeared on the map before Espinosa did. Mm. But she is sleeping in the storeroom. What are we going to do here? We need to organize things. Um, this was... Um, Consolatio and so, no, Consolatio and Salune's room was the one May goes in right now, but that's okay. Close enough, uh, because I want Salune close to the research bench. This is the closest available one, which means now this room, wait, this room is now available. We can make that Latrosa's bedroom. Okay, so Luna will move, sorry about that, to dis disturb your evening, but Luna will now move to the other bed. I think this will all go fine. This duck is looking super snazzy here. Look at this gear. We've got um, a red devil strand cowboy hat and a red devil strand duster with a gray cloth button down shirt and cloth pants. It's, it's a style. We're actually getting some style here. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So let's see. What do you think, Water? Are you waiting on Mago? Or are you interested in Molstug, Latros, or Espinosa for adopting? Mago is... Uh, was as a child, Mako tormented other children for fun to keep him busy. An elder assigned him to a hunting party at an early age. Shooting plus three, melee plus two, doctoring, disabled doctoring, um, and wardening in this game are a skill set known as caring. So Mako is incapable of caring but that's not what we think of when we think of caring they can have a relationship they're not they're not actually a psychopath they're just not able to professionally care for people for reasons of trauma in their backstory um, in Mago's adulthood Mago's role in his tribe was to connect with the natural world around especially the world of animals in addition to fulfilling a spiritual role he also tamed wild beasts and cared for them as they served the tribe animals plus six social plus two so it seems like this was a real redemption story for Mago um, that the that the tribal elders assigning him to a hunting party may have um, may have made for a turnaround in his backstory there. Um, who is the hunter without a ranged weapon? What's the story here? Uh, Salune and Latros. Now either that means they need a ranged weapon or they need to not be a hunter. And why is Latros not sleeping in their own bedroom? Too late. Um, okay, Bio says animals nine shooting two. Oh, I'm just not sure you're meant to be a hunter. Salune, on the other hand, animals two shooting nine. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, either of you could potentially be melee fighters. The question is, how many melee fighters do we want? 
Uh, an ambrosia sprout check it we're so happy to see this let's make a growing zone around that so that we can harvest these when the time comes and we will interesting oh it's always very important to to really zoom in before you make any choices here all right, no sewing. That's how we do that, I think. Oh dear, I have tabbed out. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Okay. Look at this. We're making great progress um, planting the double strand. It's a plant that takes a really long time to grow. I think I'll go for Mago. The name, it's already epic though. I mean, green Mago. Can we add water as a middle name if that's possible? Let's check out how to do that. Um, we can't, we can't do it yet because they haven't joined us yet. So we're going to test it on, we're going to go here. Um, so we've got first name, nickname, last name, and title. So you have four options, two of which are added, editable, um, so we can just give them a nickname of water or a title of the water. There's an option. I've never, I've never thought of that before. I'm a little bit proud of myself. That could be, that could be cool. Oh yes, you have Alex in the center. Yes. So that's how we did that. And it shows up on the top here as the nickname is what shows up. Um, but yeah, Green Mago is a pretty epic name. You're right. You're right. Okay, Stug, you're sleeping, not in a bed. Um, I'm going to give you Mole's bed temporarily. This is like... I don't know. <sighs> we have so many beds. One, two, three, four, five, six bedrooms. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need more bedrooms. That's what we need. So we're going to start uh, deciding where to put another bedroom. Let's put, let's put another bedroom. Could put another bedroom over here. We could put another bedroom over here. I think let's put one over here. We could maybe eventually put two, but let's think about this here. Um, uh, let's see. We need the plan. One, two, three by three, four by four, five by five. Yeah, what if we did five by five there? And this could be a corridor. Let's try that and we'll make some walls. Mm. Now here's the thing. Um, we have, as far as natural resources on the map goes, uh, green water. Oh, I like it. That's nice. Um, as far as natural resources on the map goes, we have limestone and sandstone. Um, and they're both less flammable than wood. So really, that's what we should be doing. Limestone or sandstone. But do we have a lot of actual tiles that have been, not tiles, blocks? What, what are we calling this? Also, I need my glasses. One moment. broke my glasses last night. They fell off the ba bathroom counter and hit the toilet. And this lens fell out because it broke right, right, right. Hmm. Oh, I can't see right there. 
so that's unfortunate. I might be able to just make them work by holding them carefully while I put them on and take them off. And if not, then maybe I will glue them with super glue because super glue is great. All right, so we're gonna order to chop that wood. Ooh, hey, I successfully tamed an alpaca. I can't believe I found time for it already. That's great. A wonderful uh, sign, I think. Mole is sleeping here. Why are you... Mm, that's because I gave... I gave your bed to somebody else. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> we're hot. We're hot bunking it. Oh, yeah. We still have this issue with the... Okay, we will temporarily assign you guys to not be hunters. Oh, but you love hunting. So does Latros. Loves hunting. But honestly, I don't think you're that good at it. One thing that assigning people to hunting can do is improve their shooting skills. So maybe, since, hu since hunting is something Latrosa loves to do, maybe we should go ahead and allow that. Let's see, what have we got in the way of weapons. We'll equip that great bow. Taming an alpaca. You do that? Wait, you do that? Latrose? Oh, we haven't told Latrose or Espinosa what their priorities are yet. Nothing some super glue won't be able to fix. So true. Alright, Nightbot says hydrate. Let's, let's check out what people's priorities are here because because that's important priorities and schedules so being a patient number one being a doctor my goodness you're good at that um yeah let's see i mean four Let's say three and one. Let's do that because otherwise they can't do any self-tending. And let's check on self-tending. That should be turned on, except for me, who just absolutely cannot. Um, alternately, we could turn it off for everybody except for the best doctors and that way we can turn it on if we need to but this will ensure that everybody gets the best possible care unless it's an emergency in which case I can say hey you might want to put that band-aid on yourself all right um let's see a party. Do tell. Latros is throwing a party. Everyone who goes will gain recreation and social energy and a lasting positive mood boost. Yes. Way to go. Latros is throwing a party right here. Um, Salune is going to wake up and go to the party. Constellatio is... Attending the party. Am I going to go? Yes, I'm going to the party. Stug is going to the party. So Lune, will you wake up and go to the party? If I ask you to wake up, will you go to the party? Espinosa? Yes, everybody's coming to the party. Mole is not coming to the party. Oh, that's right. Mole is... Mole does not benefit from going to a party. Mole's, Mole's a psychopath. Um, which just means does not benefit from going to parties <laughs> in, in, in this game. In real life, it means a lot more than that. But um, Mole doesn't see any particular reason to go to the party. But everybody else seems to be there. Let's see. Maybe Zanya is not at the party. Maybe Zanya, why are you sleepy? Okay, um, why don't you get up 
and see if you feel like going to the party. You can go back to sleep if you want to, but just think about it. You're going to work. <sighs> I was kind of hoping you'd go to the party, but if you go to work, you'll be at the party. You'll just be working while you're at the party. I mean, oh, the party's over. Okay. The party's over. They've burst my pretty balloons. All right, um, how about cleaning? I should do some cleaning. Cleaning is good. Especially in the kitchen. Also, why is there a plan in the kitchen? I don't understand what that plan is for. I'll remove that plan. Because that's a mysterious plan. And I don't like mysterious plans as things are. We have a mysteriously patchwork floor in all of these rooms because it was just a matter of let's get some floor down. Um, we weren't about making it pretty. We're just trying to get things done. So Saluna is working on the research. We're researching long blades so that we can craft long swords and spears. Um, also, so I may need, is this a Pila? All right, so I might be a, a javelin thrower. Let's do that. I think that's good. And Stug is having a chat with Mago, telling Mago about hairstyles and describing the community. Also encouraging Mago to find some common ground around health. And offering a chance for Mago to find common ground around making jock straps. And uh, describing the community again, not nothing like a little repetition. The resistance has fallen from 4.2 to 3.1, that's excellent. Amazing. Very well done, Stug. Mako will be one of us before too terribly long. I love to see it. So Luna is getting back to researching. Um, where did I go? What am I doing? Making some kibble. Okay. Um, we've made some progress towards this um, new bedroom that we're working on. We're not all the way there yet, um, but I think we're ready to start making the back wall out of, oh no, that was the problem. We need to make some tiles or that's here. Stone cutters table. Yes. All right. Limestone blocks. Why not also make sandstone blocks? Seems good. We certainly have plenty of materials for that. Okay, so that means we can start making that wall out of limestone. Let's see how it goes. And let's make this to be a regular door. And we'll add another one here. Here? No, I don't know where. I'm gonna leave it alone until we decide where. And we'll start with this and then we'll probably add another one into that corridor there. We'll make this a full corridor so that nobody has to go through this bedroom to get to this bedroom. In fact, it might be better if we only had one door per bedroom because otherwise people are going to go waltzing right through it and that's never great. We have some granite blocks and granite blocks are great but um, we don't have enough of them. Stug, you're sleeping on the floor. What did I do? 
I did the I did the wrong thing. I definitely did the wrong thing. Stug is no longer inspired. Oh well. Wow. Donkey three has given birth. We now have a baby donkey foal number three. Who is consuming dandelions? How adorable. Now why do we have a meal sitting here? It's not really a good place for a meal to be. Can you just hold out where it needs to go since you're passing right by? That would be wonderful. And what am I doing? Sleeping. Ugh. How, how, okay. How is it that nothing ever seems to get done? Every time I turn around, it's time for sleeping again. Oh, I know, it has to do with the schedule. Yeah, all right. Let's look at this. <laughs> it's a pretty messed up schedule. There's reasons for this. We're trying to keep people out of each other's hair. How's my relationship with Irisanyo and Stug? Probably pretty bad. Oh, good with Irisanyo. Good with Stug. All right, that's fine. We can stay on the same schedule there. Also, unfortunately, I did not manage to make friends with Espinosa. I mean, I like her fine, but she doesn't like me. So that's unfortunate. Hang on. Oh, I see. Okay. So Constellatio is no longer inspired. Okay. Let's go back to this schedule here. Bed rest number two for all. Basic number one for all. Wardening. It really varies. I move these numbers around based solely on um, social relationships with the prisoner. So it's almost like it doesn't, none of this matters because I'm going to be changing it all the time as soon as we have a prisoner anyway. Um, Handling, yes. Uh, handling and hunting, yes. Research, yes. Cooking, I mean, maybe not. Right now, it's just me and Irisanyo. And that's fine. We might eventually start training up. Actually, Latros could go ahead as well and help with the butchering. Construction? No. Growing. Also, no. That should be a four. And that should be a four. Mining should be a four. Plant cutting should be a four. Smithing, tailoring. Hmm, we might ask Espinosa to do some of those things. And crafting. That could be that could be Espinosa's gig. Smithing, tailoring, crafting. But not hunting? Honestly, it would it would help improve everybody's shooting skills. But is Espinosa a really great melee fighter? That's how we determine that. 
Yeah, probably better to leave Espinosa as a melee fighter. I don't know. Maybe we just let her be a latent melee fighter and... Can we make a great bow? I do not know. Maybe we do, maybe we don't have the skills for that. <gasps> we tamed a donkey! Yes! An adorable donkey has been added. So, I want KLV. Chula arde yo ki un mikonas. Mine vidi spin de kelpa tempo. Say yes. No, mi confusijas char. Mi pensas pri. Du homoi kai. Mine certas. Chu viestas ti u. Kiun mi konas vidal vide. Au. Au chune. Povus esti ke estas plio unu ardeo. Tute povus esti. Kiel chio chio okaze. Mi fushi sion. Clarion, saluton. Um, so yeah, we are, um, we are doing pretty well today in this colony. Mi ne estas, mi nur usas reja ardeo kiel ret nomo. Okay, mi ne usas ardeon kiel verviva nomo. Bone. Tion mi supozi, sed mi nur volis controli. Nu mi comprenas. Kai. Estas bone vidi vin. Kai vi, Clarion, kiel chio iras? Ni havas um, capridoin, mufalidoin, um, ni havas diversain bestoin gtie, dormanta, um, oh, Nova Alpaco, La Tros Kai Mi, um, Malsova Gigas, Multain Alpaco, and Vivas, Mi Joyas, Que Vivas. And for ye, estas chio, kion, mi pomas pari. Mi just notice ke effective ni havas do um mal no vai dangero chiti i mean ne pretas uh um and regardi por vidi kio en estas all right we've got a lot of new medicine that's just been harvested here herbal medicine from the field let's see maybe stug could uh, haul some of that while passing by. That'd be a good plan. Um, Espinosa is making blocks from stone, which is good because we're trying to build this new bedroom here and need some stone blocks. And Mole is great at building things, but if he doesn't watch out, <laughs> he's kind of... We're going to be in a cask of the Amontillado situation here. If he's not careful, he needs to think about what he's doing, because, uh... Yeah, he's not, he's not thinking this through. We're going to have a problem here in a second. He's going to shut himself into this little area, and he's not going to... At least he's going to have a cozy chair. Oh no, he's coming out. Okay, good. I thought he was going to finish building all of this wall, but he was out of... Uh, resources, so he, he's, he's saved. <clears throat> now let's hope he builds that wall from the right side. Good. That's good. 
All right, so this is the size and shape of our new room. It needs a new wall. Um, and it needs some furniture. So we'll build a bed like that. Um, should we build it out of wood or should we try starting to build things out of nicer materials? I think we should try to build it out of something else instead because I don't think people are terribly happy with their wooden furniture. I don't think they love it. Let's try making a bed out of... We don't have enough of anything. Oh yes we do. We can make it out of limestone. Fine, let's do that. And we're putting double beds in a lot of rooms. Not that it's necessary, but that way if people tend to if people wind up pairing up at some point in the future, then um, we'll have room for more people more quickly without having to build more um, more rooms. So, you know, just planning ahead a little bit. Let's make a limestone end table here and here. And we can just assume they might have some pets and make some doggy beds at the foot of the bed. And we'll make them a table. Dresser. Stool. A board game. Actually, the turkey has decided to sleep there. Well, we're just constructing your bed. Sorry, Mr. Turkey. Um, instead, we're gonna, you know, I can make different choices. I could put the door here. I could put the door here. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the door there. I know, I was going to put the dresser on that wall, but we're not gonna do that anymore. I'm gonna put the dresser to the left. Put the dresser there. That's fine. Ooh, time to stretch. All right. Lots of people are sleeping and nobody is sleeping in this bed. What does that mean? It means Irizanio is not sleeping in... No, it means Irizanio is not sleeping in their bed. Why? Why is that? I don't understand that. Stretching is good. I don't, I don't understand what is going on with our whole bedroom situation here. We'll keep working on it until we get it sorted out. But for the moment, it is a puzzlement. All right, Constellatio has been way too busy recently. We, we basically, we need more people to help out with the fields because there's more fields than people. You know what I mean? Yeah, I would love to take a break pretty soon. I'm feeling the need for a break sooner than I wish. Um, but I guess that's just the way it's going to be today. And I'm realizing that I need to really 
listen to that. When my, when my body starts saying, oh, I really need a break, if I don't take it, that's going to mean that my stream is going to be shorter than I want it to be. If I do take it, that means that I have still a hope of my stream being, you know, the length I would like it to be. Um, Irizanyo, the kitchen is really, really dirty. Could we maybe do some cleaning first? That'd be great. Because it's filthy in here. Gross, gross, gross. Alright, we now have another great bow. Who needs it? Um, who is a hunter? Everybody but Irisanyo. Okay. That means everybody needs a great bow, I guess. I'm glad Salune now has the skill set to make that. Once Greenwater Mago joins the party, they can work the fields, I guess. Alright, Constellatio is having a chat with them. Um, describing practicing crossbows, telling a heartfelt story about learning backgammon, talking about cannons, and expressing interest, just as uh, we were discussing, uh, expressing interest in Mako's usefulness, asking Mako to join. We're getting closer. We are now at resistance 1.5, so it should probably be two days. I believe. Two days. All things being equal, let's increase our chances by making it as nice as we can in here. Cleaning up a bit. And then I'm going to take a little break. We're going to pause and zoom out. Um, and... I'm going to go to my BRB screen. I'm going to run a little three minute ad. Quite the skillful and wise yapper, well said. Um, but yes, hopefully Mago could help out, but I think it's probably going to be prioritizing working with the animals, um, given that that's where their burning passion is. Um, so let's see here we really just it's honestly it's me that would be the next candidate to help Constellatio and so maybe when Mago joins Mago can take over some of what I've been doing with the animals and I can start working with Constellatio in the fields um that seems to be logic until such time as we find someone else uh, who actually has some skills to help Constellatio, because Constellatio is the one with the skills for the plants. He is a very skilled professional, and for once, not our only doctor, um, which is a surprise, because it seems like in every scenario we've ever played through, Constellatio has been the doctor. Um, but we, I think Constellatio started out as the only doctor, but then we've had some recruits recently who have some great, um, uh, skills in that department. So, um, they took over that task, but, um, at such time as we have multiple injuries, then it's all hands on deck and, um, we are, we're all working on, oh, hey, check this out, guys. We have some ambrosia in the field, and that needs to be pulled in right away. Um, let's see if we can't prioritize that, and then I will take my break. So Stug is refueling that lamp. And then we'll go pull in some of the ambrosia from the field. Cheeky is sleepy. Cute little one. 100% tame. Can I look at Mako's skills before or while you go on break while? Or before, I mean. Another ambrosia sprout. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go, making our growing zone. 
that's interesting. A bit smaller than usual. Uh, hmm? What? No. What? What's going on here? There we go. That's what I wanted. I don't know why that didn't work first. All right, let's see how Stug is doing. Didn't get everything. Let's all the rest of it. Okay. Mago. Bio. Here's the list, and Constellatio has gone on a fire starting spree. Um, we will deal with that when we get back. Uh, but here are Mago's skills. Shooting melee construction and plants, minor passions. Major passion for animals. Cannot be a doctor or a warden. Um, that's the size of it. Is that what you wanted to see, water? Oh, that's cute, Constellation. Okie dokie. I'm gonna go to my BRB screen um, and I will run a three minute break and be back shortly after that for more RimWorld nonsense. Whee!
Okay, hello, we are back. I am pouring myself a cup of tea. And we will try and see if we can talk Constellatio out of starting a fire. Or maybe we just follow him around and put out the fires and allow him to enjoy his um his fire starting spree. Let's let's investigate. Okay, Constellatio is starting fires because of a trait he has. This is this is part of who he is. As as a colonist, Constellatio loves fire, will never extinguish fires, and will occasionally go on random fire starting sprees. Constellatio is happier around flames and happier when wielding an incendiary weapon. So basically, if we were to talk Constellatio out of starting fires, that would, that would be mean, I think. I think we just need to ins assign somebody to keep an eye on this. Now, that's not something I can do automatically, but I think... We can just make sure somebody does. Now, why is it that Irisanyo is not sleeping in her bedroom? Oh! <clears throat> Irisanyo can't get there because we built a wall. That's why. That explains things. Who's good at digging? Mole is good at digging. That's why you're called Mole, right? Are you a digger? You are good at mining. All right. Mole, would you pretty please, when you have the time, why not? Yes. Okay. So. Um, I'm going to draft myself. And come over here. And extinguish that fire. And extinguish that fire. Constellatio is pretty quick at this. Setting the beer on fire. Them's fighting words. It might appear that I'm just ruining all of the fun, but Constellatio's getting the fun of setting the fires. And I'm just preventing too much damage from happening. Not the Ambrosia! I don't know how long this is going to last. Well, now that we're outside, it might not matter quite so much. Is that it? We're done? No, we're still on a fire starting spree. Okay. Looks like Solune's picking up there. And Mole. Gonna help out. Okay, Constellatio's feeling better now. Gonna have some meditation time. Um, so, that went as well as it possibly could have. Espinosa is not happy with her outfit. Uh, she needs a nicer outfit. Um, we could have her wear that. And we were hoping Espinosa would be the next one to chat. Oh, no, we're not, actually. Okay, hang on. Mako needs to chat with Mole and Latros. And that's it. Everybody else can be off wardening duty. Just Mole and Letros. 
Okay. <clears throat> so we make that decision based on what are the relationships that this prisoner has with people, knowing that when they um, are freed, when they join the colony, uh, it will improve by 25 points. Um, so this is our opportunity to actually create positive relationships um, because the default will be zero. Um, we are taming more alpacas. Both Latros and I are after it. That's great. So that means we can take some of these alpacas on um, trading trips and the like. Let's see how we're doing. Here we are doing A-OK. -okay. Plenty of gr nutrition growth, plenty of nutrition stockpiled for these animals. That is fine. Okay. What are we going to research after Salune finishes long blades? It's going to be plate armor next. Uh, plate armor requires smithing and complex clothing and unlocks, surprise, surprise, plate armor, which is overlapping solid plates of armor covering the entire body from neck to feet. Um, useful, but heavy, very heavy. All right, Mole is sleeping out here again. We need to get on this and finish it up. Uh, can I do that? I cannot. All right. Mole can do that himself. Psychic soothe. Every female colonist smiles with contentment. Some distant engine of happiness is stirring. It is projecting a psychic drone onto the site through an orbital amplifier tuned to only affect females. For a few days, some people's mood will be quite a bit better. All right, we are going to install a door. And we're still making doors out of wood because they move faster. And anything else just slows everybody down. All right, now Irizanya will be able to get to her bedroom and sleep in her own bedroom for crying out loud. Hasn't been able to do that for quite a while. And Mole, could you possibly prioritize the bed next? Because we are just short on bedrooms with beds, evidently, even though we have plenty of sleeping spots. Um, not enough bedrooms with beds. So how is it coming with Mago here? Let's double check. 0.5, all right. We are coming along. Hopefully uh, the next two chit chats will do the trick and will not be done by the same person. So if we keep an eye on things, hopefully um, we can have Mole and Latros be the two who um, get Mago to join the colony. Well, is it? No, it's not time to talk with Mako. Yeah, all right. It's nice and clean in that room. That's good. Um, we have some poor quality or low condition tribal wear there. Oh, we are really going after it with these alpacas. Doing good work. Let's see, this is an area that we could add to our home area. Oh, we have. All right, theoretically, this is something that we could deconstruct. Has it all been repaired? It has. We can just deconstruct the whole thing, except 
those. We'll just uninstall them and go ahead and deconstruct everything else. Orders. Deconstruct. so sure about the tile. We'll have a look at that later. All right, Maul is working on the bed. We'll have enough beds, I think. Hopefully, finally, maybe. Maybe. It's not for sure, but maybe. Okay, now what else does this room need? We need a lamp. For sure we need a lamp. Also, um, let's see, let's go ahead and build that kind of a lamp. Yay, Irizanya is going to bed at, in her own room. Stug, can you clean up a bit before you sleep? You'll just be so much happier. I promise. Your bed will seem, your bedroom will seem like a much lovelier place. Now, this stockpile zone needs to be deleted. We need to make another one of them here for nothing but hay and kibble and I think we need to make I think hmm I think we need an animal flap there could be mistaken. <laughs> Not really quite sure. All right, Espinoza has a bed. Stug and Edizano have a bed. Latros. Nobody has this one. That means whoever was sleeping in the field should come and sleep in here. Oh, they might or might not because there's no door yet. Nobody imagined having a muffalo sleeping at their feet. Hmm. I think we might need to specify... dogs have sleeping spots. We're going to give this sleeping spot to Cheeky. Because <laughs> why not? It'll be cute when Cheeky's little. But when Cheeky gets big, it'll look funny like this. So, we currently have more sleeping spots than dogs, and that's just fine. Mo, what are you up to? Playing some pool? No, playing some poker. We don't have a pool table yet. Um, Latros, sleeping stug, tidying things up. So is Irisano. Salune is researching away. E says water. Water, what are you saying? E about about this being Chiki's sleeping spot? Chiki's not sleeping there yet because Chiki was asleep when I assigned them that sleeping spot, so it won't be till tomorrow night. Alright, how is Stug feeling these days? Stug is feeling so much better. We're so happy to see it. Um, Stug was struggling with um, a drug addiction problem. And now Stug's feeling better. And is moving at jogging speed again. You can see Stug is moving faster than Irizanyo. That's just in Stug's nature. Stug's a jogger. All right. 
lasagna is going to do some cleaning before cooking because that's good process. We like it that way. Let's focus on getting this bedroom done here. <clears throat> Mole is sleeping in this bedroom and Mole is the one that's going to be doing most of the construction. We've got some cleaning to do. And we need some more wood. And the way to do that is to say, hey, this area where we're feeding animals, um, we could grow some more grass and some fewer trees. It's good to have a little mix. <laughs> CJ, hello. Um, we're not doing a lot of work in the harvesting today. No promises either way. <laughs> um, has not It has not gone that way quite yet. Welcome in. Good to see you, my friend. Um, we are doing, we are building a new bedroom in a place where we were storing animal feed. So we got a little cleaning up to do in there in order to make it, um, to make it nice. So, um, and we have some building of furniture to do. So we need to harvest trees. That's... How do we do this? We do that. Okay, there are not that many mature trees here. Surprise. Oh, there's no mature trees there? Nah, okay, I need just this one, chop wood. That's what I need. Yes, there are some trees. Not all of the trees, but some of the trees are ready to be chopped. Goat doe number one has given birth. I didn't click on it soon enough, so I'm not sure where the baby is. We only have 13 medications left in storage. Ah, that's not the problem you seem to think it is. I think we're okay. Um, let's double check what everybody's assigned medication is. Ah, yes, we need to fix this. We want to be primarily using herbal medicine. Oh, we have not set this properly. Let's make everybody carry three of these. Oh, hello. The three does not mean carry three. The three means go fast. That's not what I wanted. Lesson learned. All right, then this goes here. There are times when we want to use the industrial tech medicine. Um... Not all times. <sighs> right, food restrictions, drug restrictions. All right. So, Mole is working on this. should probably get done today and actually it is on you you will sleep better if you clean up a little bit first stug and mole are having a fight oh dear um also prisoner mako's resistance has been broken by letros that means letros can be taken off the warning roster so that mole will be the one to recruit mako Mo was fighting. Thank you for letting me know. Um, so, they are uh, maybe going to need some band-aids. Yep, death in nine hours. Definitely going to need some band-aids. Uh, who's good at band-aids? Espinoza, great at band-aids. Mo, could I get you to... Yeah. Just, let's just go right ahead and take five, because that's a lot of blood. And 
Espinoza, let me get you to pick up that herbal medicine when you're simply ready. <laughs> and then hopefully, but you won't get there before Mole. Oh my goodness. Mole's just bleeding all over the place. Look away, everybody. Um, yikes. Yikes! It's getting worse. Um, very cute, very cute little derpy emote there. Alright, Mole has gotten there. Espinosa has gotten there. Espinosa, could you prioritize putting those band-aids to good use? Because, oh my gosh. What even started that? Let's try and figure it out. Um, Mole called Stug a tapir. A tapir? A tapir. This drove Stug into a rage, and he began a fight. <sighs> yeah, don't do it. How is Stug doing? Does Stug need band-aids? No, Stug's just fine. Not a scratch on him. Well, I guess Stug, Stug defended himself quite effectively. Maybe Mole will think twice before calling Stug a tapir again. Is, was it was it a comment on the length of of Stug's nose? Was that what it was about? Because if so, not cool. All right, Espinosa, you deserve that beer, but on your way, could you please grab that silver? I know that's not quite on your way, but it's been sitting out there, and we don't want anybody else to pick it up and take it away. Not like that actually happens in-game, but hey. Um, yeah, exciting times. Um, Stug's doing fine, Spinoza's doing fine. Stug and Alex don't get along that well. Um, so I'm not really quite sure what the deal is here. Oh, a baby goat is sleeping in the bedroom. Might not be what we want. Research finished. Long blades. We can now craft, craft long swords and spears. Next, let's research plate armor. Yeah. Um, I would love to jump over here. And in fact, I can make an argument for it. Because this ha here requires this, but has fewer... Guys, this is a hard decision to make. So if I'm doing this in order of number of points, I have to go here. But if I look at this number of points here, I only have to go through a thousand points. I don't know. Let's do the, let's do the plate armor. Gosh. I need to stop thinking so hard and just... All right, um, Erizano is cooking and cleaning, please. Espinosa is drinking a beer. I think it's, um, it's well earned. She did save somebody's life, you know? When I wake up, we got some butchering to do. It's time to get to work. Haha -ha dogs, have a good sleep. I hope you have a restful one. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I always appreciate it so much. You're always here. All right. Shay Shay. Let's see. We have some things to haul. Um, probably we should prioritize things that are going to fall apart, you know? Some things 
just don't last too long in the out of doors. Do you know what can help you make faster decisions for real? Um, do tell. I was, I've been thinking about the counting backwards from five thing, but that's in a specific, that's not about decision making, that's about taking action. Like when, when you know that you're, that you need to X instead of Y and you keep doing Y. And you need to stop doing Y and start doing X and you just can't get yourself to take action. Then just as soon as you know that you know, start counting backwards from five. And when you get to one, just do it. I've been thinking about that. <laughs> Doesn't mean I have been successfully taking action, but I've been thinking about it. It's a start, right? Or were you just asking how to make better decisions? Because I get decision fatigue. <laughs> Tis the season. All right, how are we doing here? Espinoza is making stone blocks. Matros is leading Alpaca 19 to the pen. Stuck's having a meal. Entirely reasonable. Mole is resting up after getting his backside handed to him. Watch me attempt to make decisions. It will make you feel so uncomfortable and self-conscious for me that when it's your turn, you'll recall how painful it is, and I assure you, you'll react faster yourself. <laughs> you silly. All right. I would like to plant some roses in there, and I don't know quite how to do it. Did Stud just take care of Mom? Is that something that just happened? I'm gonna go eat some chocolate. Is that allowed? That's my chocolate field. There's nothing growing in there. All right. One of these days, doing Latros, taming a muffalo constellatio planting some roses in the prison room slash hospital we could also do some cleaning while we're in there also going to tame an alpaca all right we now have no it's a lily i asked for a rose for real though, I'm 95% positive I have a good point there. I mean, but what are you going to do? Like, I don't I don't know if it's necessarily a good strategy unless it can be universally employed. And that's a strategy that pretty much would not work for you. Or would it? Would watching VODs of decision-making processes work for you? Am I? Lune is researching. I'm going to tame that alpaca if it doesn't leave the map before I get there. And Latros has reached animal taming level 10. Amazing. All right, it looks like I might just get to that alpaca before that alpaca decides to leave. That's so sweet to plant flowers in the prison room. I love it. Well, it's our it's our multi-purpose room. It's both the prison room and the hospital right now. <laughs> Currently, it's just a hospital because we put the prisoners, because we had too many of them, we put the prisoners in this wing over here. Um, and we don't have a dedicated hospital. So we need to get on that. Maybe we need to start building more bedrooms and other rooms and stuff and things like that. Let's see. I think pretty much 
This room is getting close to finished. Who's sleeping here? A muffalo calf. Okay. We don't really want the animals sleeping indoors. Let's see. Mole, I know you're not feeling the best. Um, how bad is it? Medium bad. Well, we should let you rest a little bit. You lost a toe and a finger. In that altercation. Wow, you really did not come out ahead. You need to choose your words a little more carefully. Stop calling people tape bears and uh, just be kind you know should uh, take take a page from take a page from Mago's book just be kind um, rarely insults others or starts fights. Now we had one of them insulting and one of them starting a fight, so. Just seeing double for no apparent reason, was it was it an artifact in the game? Or are you very tired? <laughs> I've been having some dizzy spells recently, which I am pretty sure are due to insufficient sleep over an extended period of time. <laughs> Uh, which have not been fun. Um, seeing double also not fun. I mean, I don't think fun. No, Elena, it was in chat. Oh. <laughs> Did I mention I'm a little tired? I think I might have mentioned. Let me say again. I'm a little tired. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna pour myself a little more tea and then I'm gonna put the tea on the warmer because we're getting to the point where we're switching over from having the pitcher on the warmer to the tea mug on the warmer. All right, I'm glad I don't need to worry. It's not like out of my way or anything. I'm gonna worry anyway about something, so. If y'all need anybody to worry about you, I'm always glad to provide a service. <laughs> uh, never out of out of my way at all. All right, we should have done some cleaning before we went to bed, but hey, cleaning in the morning is the second best choice, I suppose. And. The hospital is quite clean. As to whether that was British or American quite, I think it was a British quite. That's uh that's not nothing. Okay. Espinosa's cleaned up the barracks and is going to work. It's 3 a.m. We are on this weird schedule here. Um we need to figure out why Espinosa's up. Oh, she just got enough sleep. Are you a fast sleeper, Espinosa? Is that a thing? Some people are. Fast sleeper. She's not. But she's slept enough. Must have been the luxuriantly comfortable bed. She was resting on clouds of heaven. How happy is that? She's also happy because she got rescued. Everything's great. Oh, it's dark. She doesn't like that. Well, it'll be morning soon enough. You didn't really have to get up that early, but you were done sleeping, so I suppose. I suppose that's fine. Okay. Let's see. I would love it if Solene would do a little bit of crafting before getting back to the research because we need some more bows because I would like everybody's shooting skill to go up a bit. It's great that some of them have excellent, strong, passionate melee skills, um, but 
it's like you know um, it's best if everybody has as much shooting skill as possible now in order for that to work out we need to assign some hunting to be done um, that will help them increase their skills in shooting and it will not go to waste let's check our bills hmm. do X times that's not what we want we want do until we have X think that this tea could possibly become um, a trade good for us. Uh, so I have two Amazon Echoes, aka Alexas, at home. One upstairs and one downstairs. I hope I didn't wake the, them up just now. They seem to not be much in sync, which is weird since they are the same product connected under the same Wi-Fi and Amazon account, yet things like this happen. The one upstairs notifies me that the flood warning has been extended from 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. I walk downstairs. Once again, there's a notification. You ask what it is, and it says the flood warning has now been extended to 5.30 p.m. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. We need to make ourselves some travel meals. Why can't we make travel meals? I don't see travel meals on the list. Why is that? Am I just overlooking it? I don't see travel meals here at all. Do we have to have electricity to make a travel meal? That might be the case. All right, um, Mole, when you wake up, let's recruit Mago. It's time. It's time so excited and then water will be joining our colony again and I will be temporarily retiring from working with the animals and starting to work with Constellatio in the fields because my goodness it's too much work for one person to do we frankly we need like five people on field type work but but that is not happening. We don't have the skill sets for that. All right, how's Mole's healing going? Oh, very well. Very, very well. Okay, Espinosa is working on the shooting skills by hunting rabbit. Shooting skills are at six, and she learns quickly because she's interested in it. Look at this baby goat. 12 hours old, hanging out with the alpaca. And I don't know why. And that's a baby turkey, so much bigger than the baby goat. That just doesn't seem quite right to you. Does that seem quite right to you? That doesn't seem quite right to me. Who should I believe? Is this like the game of the two doors? One always tells the truth and one always lies? Oh gosh, I hope not. I hope not. All right, Stug can deliver materials for construction. That's a good idea. Let's do that. That will help Mole out because Mole is, you know what? Mole is not sleeping. Mole is just resting. And frankly, I think we need to prioritize cleaning that up and recruiting Mago. I'm very excited about this. Yes, hunting rabbits. Guys, I smell bacon. It's driving me up the wall. It smells so delicious.
We we don't have bacon. We have pigs. But um I don't think this game has bacon. Alright, here comes Small to talk with Mago. Gonna clean up a little bit, try and make the room look nice, and then say, hey, would you like to join us? Mm. Or do you want to just stay in here? <laughs> Your choice. <laughs> Uh, okay, Maul and Mago are having a chat. Oop, I clicked the wrong button. Maul is describing hairstyles to Mago and asking Mago about his opinions. About the hairstyles? We don't know. Um, ask Mago about his eyes. How are your eyes, by the way? You know, it's a, it's a reasonable question when you're talking about recruiting a new colonist to your uh, little village. Ask him about his usefulness. How useful are you, really? Um, and then... Whoop, here we go. Mole has uh, asked Mako to join. Mako has accepted and joined Mole's community. And uh, Mole proceeded to share a word about beaches. I mean, Mako proceeded to share a word about beaches with Mole. Look at that. Everybody's, everybody's got a great relationship. Oh, Mako's the kind and beautiful person. So everybody loves um, Mako because they're so beautiful. And Mako loves everybody because they're so kind. All right. So, we're going to rename this character here to, help me out here, water, green water, duplicate eyes, um, would you like water as a nickname, green water as a nickname, would you like it in the title section, where, how, which, green water. Like this or with a capital W? Was that even talking? Did that make any sense? <laughs> Slowing my words a little. Should I worry? Um, something like this. Do we like it? Green water. Alright, so then I need to set the work schedule. Um, Green water, firefighting, and being a patient. Number one priority is bed rest. Number two, basic tasks. Number one, wardening. Oh, we just move it when you need to. Handling. Priority, we're making it number two. Hunting, number two. All of that, number three. What's this? Zero, two, um, two, one, two, Hauling and cleaning. Cleaning could be two for everybody, I guess. And research? No. All right. That's good. And then I change my priorities. And now I'm going to prioritize. Oh, shoot. This is a little hard. This is hard. How do I get myself to prioritize growing when I've been the person doing the butchering? It's gonna mean me not being the person doing the butchering anymore, but that's okay because Latrose can do the butchering. We'll move that up to two there. Hunting. Let me look at my skill set real quick here. My shooting is already at 15, so I don't really need to prioritize hunting here to drive my skill set up. So, all of those are now three. Growing is number two. Plant cutting is number two. Hauling and cleaning is number two. So, I would eventually get around to handling animals again, but only if there's no growing, plant cutting, hauling, or cleaning to be done, which is not very likely. What is this cute little bear thing? I can't see it. Shoot. It's one of Thorlar's. Ah, it's a GG. Oh, that's so cute. It's not a bear. Why did I think it was a bear? It's adorable. Just adorable. Okay, well, welcome green water. And um, that's, that's, we're going to need some clothing, maybe? I don't know. Is green water happier without clothing? No, we've got, we've got 
Weird skin bowler hat and cloth pants. Well, that's because this tribal wear is poor quality and poor condition. So maybe we need to make some more clothes. So Lune, when you wake up, um, hmm, we're missing material. Tell me more about this. What do we need? We need to make more tribal wear. We should be able to do that. All right, so Lune will make some more clothing. It's not going to be fancy. It's going to be very simple, but it will be new. <laughs> and that's good. That's good. We like it. All right, so there's our new recruit. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Well, the question is, do you mean for you to be a hunter? Uh, yes. Yes, absolutely we did. So that means... Green water needs a great bow. Oh, taming and training. That's excellent. Nobody's had time to do that. Green water, why are you sleeping there? It's because I didn't reset this. Okay. Go sleep in bed. Thank you. Okay, training the foxes. I love it. are going you're not you just have pants and a hat <laughs> at the moment which doesn't bother you because your character is male so green water does not feel naked um, but I am making uh, some tribal wear so Lune is making some tribal wear so that might be a choice that you make when you see that the tribal wear is new because the pants are not new. So who knows what what the choice will be. But that'll be your choice. I mean we can force it. If you have a preference as a as a viewer, um, we can force the issue and make green water wear a certain thing. That is a thing that can be done. We have a baby red fox puppy. It says puppy. They're kits, but says puppy. That's fine. Why is everybody up in the middle of the night? Oh yes, because of my funny schedule. All right, we need to think about how to integrate green water, Litros, and Espinosa into that schedule. Mole and Constellatio are one group, and Alex, Irizanyo, and Stug are the other group, and Solune's all by self. So, Solune... Do you get along with either of those new folks? Um, may go yes, Espinosa yes. So we could put them in that group. Um, it's kind of a shame. It's like not necessary. But on the other hand, why not? Let's try it. Oh, but Latros, I forgot. Who do you get along with? Everybody. Oops, just bumped the mic. I zoomed into the characters at the top of the screen, which it's a thing that makes me happy that I can do that with this phone, even when the display messes up with image contrast. I saw that Mole looks like a vampire. Oh my gosh, Mole does look like a vampire. That's so funny. Why is that? Mole is wearing a flak jacket with a cloth button down shirt and has a beard? Is that a beard? I can't really tell. I think Mole has a beard. Hmm. Count Molecula. That's funny. All right. Um, what was I doing? Solone, could you tidy up a bit here? Because it's yucky.
Seems like there's just always more cleaning to do. On one of on my off-stream colony, I have one colonist who is um, the cleaner, and they make sure everything stays nice, and it's amazing. But it's only happened because he can't. There's there's a limit. There's a how do I say this? There's quite a few other things he can't do anymore. Um, and so that's how that went down and it wound up being great for the whole colony um, and for him because he doesn't have to he doesn't move as fast as he used to and so this means that he can just stay around the home base and be very effective without having to travel very far um, which works great And we don't have anybody that we can spare to focus on cleaning, I feel like. Could be wrong. Let's look at our work schedule here. It seems like there's enough twos and ones here that nobody's ever going to get around to cleaning. Basically, I always have to tell them to do it. Um... But honestly, is there anybody who isn't really needed elsewhere? Maybe Espinoza? I feel like Espinoza is very... Her skill set is very specific. And it's not an everyday skill set. So maybe we could ask Espinoza to focus on that. Um... Seems reasonable. Let's try it. A very few ones here. And frankly, I don't think Salune needs to be at a level one for tailoring anymore. I can just ask for something to be made when I need it. And, and it, uh, Saluna isn't the only one with tailoring skills anymore. We also have Espinoza as well. Six and five. Three and four. Oh, this should not be installed as a gather spot. That's Well, since you came out all this way, you could just do a little hauling on your way to where you're going. That would be lovely. You too, Greenwater. <sighs> two hours, 32 minutes. I'm thinking that there will be a second break today. Um, so my energy is a little on the low side. Ideal, but sometimes it's necessary. All right, what can we do besides assigning a cleaner to tidy a bit? I would like to start installing some um, shelves. This is something that we haven't really done in the past. I'm going to choose sandstone. We don't have any. Oh, I'm going to choose limestone then. Okay. Who is making limestone blocks. I think it was Espinosa, frankly, who is now cleaning. 
Who else is making limestone blocks? I really don't know. Whoa. Just about dumped my tea in my lap. Um, making limestone blocks. What skill set is that? I do not know. Hmm. I just don't know. Is it crafting? Yes. Okay. So, it should be mole. But mole won't get around to it. Because of... All of these other things. I'm popping all of these back up to one. Which I tend to do in between prisoners. So that when we get a new prisoner... I'm not going to run into a, oh, everybody's too busy to pay attention to the prisoner and they starve to death. That's not good. Um, we try to avoid that. All right. Well, we'll just have to ask Mole to do that on occasion. Hang on. What are you doing over there? Playing the game of art. Okay, but there's no chair there. Which is good leads to the question, why is there no chair there? Let's build a chair right there. Not there. Alright. Actually. While you're here. We could do some cleaning and then make some blocks. And there's, let's see, some delivery to be done there for the new chair. Good. Beep. The psychic soothe is ending. Mm. Well, look how happy everyone is while it lasts. Stug's not super happy. Um, soaking wet. Why? Oh, outside in the rain. Got it. Awful bedroom. What can we do about these bedrooms? We can improve the furniture. One thing. Okay, which bedrooms are how awful? We have our room stats display on. Stug's bedroom is mediocre. Sanyo's bedroom is dull and we're on a fire starting spree. Who has time? Uh, Espinosa, I think you might have time. Yes, you're, you're really almost done playing anyway. So, um, let's do this. We'll go over here and just follow Latrosa around a little bit. Oh, Espinosa cannot firefight. Never mind. How about if Mole does it? Okay.
We could try and arrest her. It's raining. What's the point of this? Go inside. We'll just let the rain take care of it. What are you doing? You're going over here to hunt a turkey. Okay, that's fine. Um, we don't have any fires where the rain won't put them out. That's fine. Okay, we are not keeping up with the cooking. Sonia is making tea. Uh, I see what the problem here is. I see what the problem here is. We need to stockpile a little bit more. That should do the trick. Then we will not have so much waste. We don't like waste. Waste is not cool. is I'm so confused. What are you doing with your great boat? You were I saw you were getting ready to shoot at something. Oh that's that's got to do with setting fires. Okay. Interesting. Okay, all done with that. We'll keep an eye on these fires here just to see that the rain puts them out. Um Latros is moving on with her day. We're happy to Report, fire starting spree is over. These little fires here don't seem to be growing very fast. Let's say growing very slowly. Ah. They will they will burn themselves out here because they are not growing fast enough to spread to new flammable material nearby because it's raining. So that's fine. That should work out nicely for all concerned. Latros had her fun and she'll be uh, well happy for a while, shouldn't she? No. I assumed that that would be fun for her. No indication other than the burning passion for her work when she got back to her work. It's a little pun there. Nope. Nope. That fire starting spree was just because she hadn't been around enough fire. Now we have fire-based lighting everywhere that we have lighting. Oh no, every male colonist feels a wave of anxiety and anger. Some distant engine of hatred is stirring. It is projecting a psychic drone onto the site through an orbital amplifier tuned to only affect males. For a few days, some people's mood will be quite a bit worse. Is that a British quite? Or an American quite. The drone level is low. I think it's a British quite. I've decided to believe that. Um, for the good of us all, we're going to believe that it's British quite. All right. How are we doing here? Constellatio's going to have a meal. Greenwater's training the puppy. Mole is. Uninstalling a steel urn. Hmm. Hmm. What if Stug delivered some materials to shelves? Don't know how this is going to work out. We're going to try it. See how that goes. Um. We are almost done constructing furniture and things in here. Uh-oh. The red fox has failed its training. Very sad.
Okay, who is the butcher now? I think it's Latrips. It is Latrips. All right. While well, you're here, yes. Okay, I didn't even have to tell you. There you go. All right. Mo is working on building a dresser for his own bedroom. Why not? Let's finish that bedroom up. You know, I'm not regretting setting Espinosa to prioritize cleaning. I think I think that may turn out to have been a good decision. Um, feeling good about that. And I'm also feeling like I really need another break already. And that's unfortunate. Because it really hasn't been that long since my last break, but my um, my energy is just not holding out due to having had two or three decent nights of sleep in the last couple of weeks. Two hours, 47 minutes, 27 seconds. Well, this definitely will be a last break. I mean, another option would be just to end stream before I even hit the three hour mark, but I hate it. Um, might be the right call though. How are y'all feeling? Oh, I think, I think, um, Finishing when I finish this bedroom might possibly be the right choice. Yeah. Major break risk. That's what I'm feeling like right now. <laughs> Alright. Wow. Mole is tired. But. If we can. Um improve this bedroom then mole will have a sleep in his lovely new bedroom and wake up feeling much better there's nothing like a good night's sleep right? i only wish i could get one a little bit more often it's taking mole a really long time to make some of these things and other things very quick very very quick so I don't know what the story is on that. Let's see here. We need to make a wall bit. Structure, limestone wall right there. Um, and Stug could deliver to it. Hmm. Um, we're gonna have Mole make that chair, and then when Stug has brought the limestone blocks over here, finish off this wall. Another ambrosia sprout! They're everywhere! Okay, hang on. Hang on, we go architect zone, growing zone. Are you on your way? You are. That's good news. Espinosa's on her way to bed. Oh. That was less efficient than I had hoped, but that's alright. We'll get there. Quest active. Sammy's peace talks. Okay. 
Let's check that out. Sammy Garador, Prime Counselor of Arealanin. Uh, I won't try that again. Has sent us a message. He wants to talk with us in a nearby location. It could be a great opportunity to improve relations with their faction and receive gifts, but beware. A poor negotiator can cause more harm than good and may even anger them. Now, this sort of thing is exactly what Espinosa's special skill set is for. Here we are, very close to home. Here are we. There, are th there they are. And we have, um, let's see, social skills of 8, 8, 10. Uh, okay. So it's really Stug and not Espinosa, although we could possibly send them both and just see what happens. But um, That's something that we will tackle in our next Wednesday play session. Assuming that we don't decide to do something else. Mole's going to have a meal and then probably go to bed. Um, the baby goat is sleeping at Mole's feet. That's adorable. So, um, Mole's bedroom is awful. And ugly and dirty and tight. My goodness. It needs, it needs better floors. That's what it needs. Latros, what are you doing? Oh! That baby goat doesn't belong there. I see. We will deconstruct this because we don't have enough dogs to have that bed there. Alright, I think it is a good time for us to save and quit for today. Um sent a DM. Okay, I will check it out. Um, Sammy's Pizza? <laughs> sounds good. Pizza always sounds good. Alrighty, thank you so much, my friends, for hanging out. I'm gonna have a look to see who, um, who's, who's doing things? Who's, who's playing and, uh, and stuff? Stuff and things? Things and stuff? We will check out Who's on? Um, and let's see. I'm looking for somebody that doesn't have 50 gazillion um, viewers already. Um, Um, it's been a little while since we've raided Cooking Without Looking. Let me check and see real quick how long she's been on. An hour. That's good. Let's jump in there. I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy um, a lovely cooking stream. Um, please do not spam um, raid calls in this stream because Misty uses text to speech so just jump in and say hi um don't use a million emojis or i'll say the same thing or anything like that um just just introduce yourself and say hey if you'd like um would be the friendly way to go about it um let's see if i type oh that's not gonna work if i type this we go. Um, I will see you again on Friday for an Esperanto stream and on Sunday for a wildflower stream and Monday for um, more music and if all goes well a new song debut on Monday so that's something to look forward to. Um, I, ha I've only lurked for a long time in there. I haven't, I'm not fully up to speed with anything. Um, who knows? Could be a different kitchen, could be a different camera angle. I don't, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've done a lot of chit chat in there. I've, I've been, I've been a lurky-loo. 
but um, it's been a little while, so, so it's uh, it's time to raid Misty. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please remember, no raid calls today uh, because Misty uses text to speech, and all of that in her ear prevents her from focusing on everything else that everybody is saying. So it's just distracting. Um, so we'll just say hi, keep the emotes to a minimum, um, and just, you know, use your words. Uh, be your lovely selves, and thank you so much for coming along with me. Thank you so much for um, hanging out and playing some room. We'll go to our ending screen.